All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to the Starletter Star Series Season 14. This is now Nodis Vincere going up against eFrag.net. Once again, these two teams playing off. We're getting very, very close to deciding who these final teams are going to be heading to the land finals in Mincy in just over a month from now, actually. And this is going to be another best of three. We'll be starting it off here on Dust 2, going over to Overpass after that one. And then for our third and final map, if it does need to be played out, is it going to be over on Train? The map picks this first one here on Dust 2 is the pick from Efrag. And speaking of Efrag, they are actually going to win out the knife round here. The second map over on Overpass is going to be the choice from Navi, and the third map randomized, of course, from the remaining maps in the pool after the bands. If you guys would like to see the full bands and whatnot, all that is available over on the usual spot over at HLTV. Uh, but if not, then, well, I just told you everything you need to know, so you should be good to go. We'll be getting live immediately with this game, guys, so let's get right to it here. Efrag, unfortunately, just recently losing their match about an hour ago against their opponents over there, which was Titan 2 owed them, and very convincingly on the first map, a little bit of a closer battle. Uh, for at least the sort of residual amounts of the second map, but at the end of the day, things went pretty heavily in the favor of Titan because of uh, some e interesting economical choices, I will say, from the side of Efrag there. But to start things off this time from Efrag, they actually pick up the first kill here. Spy Leader finding a nice headshot on a Guardian through the mid there, and is going to be able to take him down very early in the round as he tries to peek back at him there and eliminate him. Not going to go so well, so already Navi going to be down to player here at the beginning of the first round. And we can see once again with the rest of Navi 2 pushing quite a few of their players back over here towards long. Not committing to it just as of yet, sort of just investigating the area and trying to see what they can find against them. Uh, but the hold from Efrag should still be very, very strong beyond that. You've got Victor over here, which would be holding against Long. He's got a smoke to hold this back off, and he's got the kit. So, if, say, if he gets, like, randomly headshot around the corner here by one of the members of Navi, he would end up uh, dropping the kit down to the floor, and they would still be very much in the area of play here for a retake for the members of Efrag. Not just this two, but we can see the rest of Navi for the most part. A couple a couple exceptions are going to work their way back over here towards B. But again, you've got NKL mainly trying to hold things off here, but they spot the aggression there and pull away from it. Now, just going back towards the usual spot in the middle where Dreamer is actually waiting for them just outside of the mid door so if he decided to get aggressive this could get dangerous but Navi at least he's two from Navi here trying to get fairly aggressive about this one and Edward actually gonna be able to catch that angle in a dreamer he unfortunately was not as safe as he believed to be sitting in that corner so he's gonna be found out and dropped down to the floor finally they find that trade due to the earlier kill that went over on a guardian but now we can see again C's trying to find his way out as the rest of Navi going for calf control here too but C's having a little bit of trouble getting himself up that angle so he's gonna have to sit back and wait for his teammates to come in but Victor decking these players left and right he's gonna be able to pick up two before Zeus finally finds a trade onto him the final three from Efrag are gonna have to move in thank Thankfully, they've got a lot of time to work with in their favor, I should say, as now Bubble's going to be able to come and he gets the touchdown kill on his Zeus, and Bubble wrapping around finds the final one as well. No plant comes out from Navi. They take far too long to make a decision as to where they want to play this, and the time, as I was saying before, works out in the favor of Efrag as Navi just run out of it there, and a perfectly placed nade kills Bubble, kills any dream of a plant happening, and obviously, again, that final kill is very easy to grab there in a one versus three scenario. So Navi are going to force themselves up here. Uh, the Deagle coming onto Guardian. The rest of the players, for the most part, are just going to go for Tech 9 armor buy-ups here. And we do see Edward going for a Deagle armor buy too. And to start things off, not actually too bad, because they do connect one Deagle shot, I think, through the doors. I don't even fully. Ooh, brings him down to 70, and then Seize is just going to roll right outside the door. Picks up the headshot in a bubble, and finishes him off very quickly. Now Guardian coming in, finding another one with some assistance of Zeus, and Victor's out in the open here. Guardian, if he peeks this correctly, he could take it down, but he's down at 1 HP now, so he's got to be very, very careful, and eventually he's just going to get picked off there by Victor as he pokes that a little bit too much and ends up losing his life. That's now traded out, but again, remember, they've only got these players that are sitting here on this site. Victor trying to hold himself off, but he's now going to be taken down by Seize. Dreamer sitting down below, picks up one, but then he's pop flashed by the T's, and Seize is able to take him down. The problem now, though, as you can see down below, is that that bomb has been dispatched. It's not really in control of the T's anymore, so they've got to go down and pick that up, and... Uh-oh. Can he... Okay, good. Thought he couldn't get it for a second there. So he's going to drop down, and they've got one player left to kill. And thankfully, Flamey not picking up that rifle. They're going to be able to take him out anyway there. As NKL is playing a little bit too close. And so Navi find the eco trade. Forced up, obviously, on the uh, on the pistol armor buy. It's not too surprising to see that happening. But with the heavy investment for me, Frag, this is immediately going to break these guys now. They'll be sitting back down. And a bit of an unfortunate choice there, too. Uh, with obviously, Navi, a bit of an unfortunate choice, too, in how openly they were playing those aggressive plays to try and take down members of Navi earlier on in the round. Navi were a spot on with their aim, and then they just punched these players left and right there, able to find their way into the site. Now they're going to push in again. Dreamer has a good position back over here by Carr, but he's taken down very quickly by Edward. Not only this, too, but Zeus catching that nade frag is going to eliminate these players. And already, again, three versus five. 
It's going to be a very tough fight to get Efrag back into this one, if they even decide to go for anything, which is looking unlikely from their current positions right now. Bubble sitting with a Deagle back over here, waiting for a push to come back over towards A. Victor inside of the long doors, and then Spyler too. Trying to get a good angle to sneak amongst these players, but Seized is going to be able to take him down. And Guardian too. Oh, getting caught out in the open here a little bit, so he might get taken down, but Victor pulls away from the fight just before he's able to finish him off. There's Bubble picking up one with his Deagle, looking for a second one, but not going to find that on the Zeus. And then Guardian will finish off Victor finally, after a little bit of a long battle transpires there. Very clean one from Navi, only losing C's in the process, as they just go basically for a straight take onto the B site, and then fan out from there to hunt down the remaining players on E-Frag. So not surprising at all to see that one being responded to, especially because we don't see a very aggressive buy coming out from E-Frag to find the response to that one. They actually take that one quite nicely, and are just going to drop themselves down. But Dreamer this time going to get hit pretty heavily too. And from the looks of it here on Navi, they're going to try to go for the same play once again. But the nade misses initially, so they're not going to get the impact they were looking for. Sees though, lining him up left and right, despite the fact that he's flashed. Due to that flash, Spyleter is going to be given an angle to take him down. But Edward finding a kill back over on the B site again. Unfortunately, giving them full control of a site. And Spyleter popping out while in the middle of a reload cancels it. But it doesn't matter there, as Guardian's still going to take him down. They should have been able to recover that UMP if they wanted to, but they're not going to do so. Just leaving it dying on the floor, not the biggest deal. The big thing here is they don't let Efrag save it. And now heading into this first gun round here, of course. A couple upgrades going to be had for the members of Navi. Not keeping any of those uh, any of those SMGs in the play for the time being. And Efrag as well get their first real big investment, including the op going over here onto Bubble. The scout shots from Guardian here, once again. Been pretty successful at this so far, at the very least, trying to get some damage on these members, but not going to pick anything up, and... Oh, takes the duel versus Bubble with the op and finishes it off. That's huge from Guardian to start this one up. That's already the op going down on the floor, and currently, NKL can't really go back to recover it. That nade is going to bounce it actually closer to him, so he should actually be able to move in and pick it up if he wants to. He's going to smoke this as well, so there is an op on the ground, and this is exactly what he's done. That's really smart from Guardian, as he's now got an op in his hand. Straight out the scout for the op and plays that perfectly. So now he moves back up, and they're going to go for a cat control after this one, too. Currently, really no resistance at all to a cat take. The only player that could get in the way of anybody from Navi at this point is going to be uh, Victor sitting back over here outside of the long doors. But the members of Navi are looking so, so good right now. And we can see Spy Leader working his way back out here. Trying to see if he can catch anybody that's working towards cat. He's got to play it very, very carefully, because like I said before, he's one of the really the only player is here to stop this right now. He just connects some good damage over there on the Guardian. And we see Victor actually picking up that kill back on Long. So they still hold control of this area. But look at this. Violator flanking around. That doesn't matter for Guardian, though. He's going to pick up that op shot. Now we see Dreamer coming into the play. Pushing up against these guys on the wall. Catching Zeus as he peeked out a little bit. He can finish off Guardian with the op. But the drop comes in. Catching him in the mid reload. But Victor's going to peek back out. Fine. Sees the trade comes out from Flamey. And now it's down to a 1 versus 1. Flamey looking away, though. He's going to get hit pretty heavily. Down to 32 HP. And now NKL trying to sneak in mid jump. But Flamey not going to be able to recover. Cover. And we do see NKL coming out on top. He's got the kit plenty of time for the defuse. And the first gun round is going to go by the way of Efrag as they pick it up there, bringing it down to a one versus one. But NKL comes out on top. That op from Navi, unfortunately, Guardian getting hit pretty heavily on the cat push they, as they move in. I think it was Dreamer that ends up doing a really good amount of damage to Guardian, bringing him down to 8 HP. Tries to hide behind the barrels. They're picking up at least one kill with that op, but ultimately falling back down. And it gives the round over to Efrag there with a very good retake. They never actually get long control either, which is very important too. I think it's Edward that ends up going down there to Victor as he holds control of that one. So they don't really consider that later on in the round when they start moving back in from long towards that area. And unfortunately, it's just so many angles that Navi have to work against that they're completely overwhelmed by it. So Bubble now picks up the first kill this time against Edward. Falls back inside of CT and is going to play it very safely after this smoke comes out. Back against the members of Efrag here. We take a look once again here at NKL. Trying to see, he's trying to look back and forth essentially between middle and the B site take, but sees slowly sneaking his way in here, trying to take down Dreamer. He's going to succeed in doing so, but now NKL moving into the play here too. Doesn't actually move inside just as of yet, and Bubble, where the hell is Bubble actually? Bubble catches one super far away. That should be mentioned. That was a very impressive kill from Bubble. You see where he gets it from. Spyler is looking at it right now. It's all the way in CT. He catches him through the door over there. So he catches a super long range shot. Doesn't even really have the intel. So that's a very impressive pickup by him. He does ultimately end up falling. And I don't actually think they recover that op for him. So we'll have to go for a rebuy onto this one. And with him not actually having enough cash, he does have to go for the scout buy now. But still a great pickup by him. And Guardian just going to deck Bubble to the floor this time around in this round. And then there's Guardian going to pick up an additional one too. This round going the complete opposite direction it would seem. As now the members of Efrag try to get aggressive and it just completely goes against them. Guardian being given two kills almost for free there. Past the mid doors. And then Seize picks up two as well here as he works his way into the lower tunnels. Efrag trying to play things aggressively but... 
this just does not go the way they wanted it to absolutely at all here and it's just down to dreamer at this point way too aggressive for me frag and navi were absolutely ready for a play like that so dreamer trying to sneak out towards middle looking for at the very least one or two pickups that he could maybe find against these players he's gonna find one but being completely flashed out there by flamey he's gonna have a very easy time finishing off that final kill but now again navi will retake the lead away for the members of efrag and after they just forced up there too from what we could see this is going to be their last chance at really getting themselves back into this game before they're back down uh, to those pistols here. And Navi will have another chance to reestablish their end money. Edward actually thinks, possibly thinks that this one is going to be the full save too because he's gone back down to the UMP this time to try and stack up a little bit more cash. And where he's moving himself towards too. This is a big risk placed by Efrag by putting only four, by putting four people on the A site. They're putting a lot of faith in Spy Leader and he only holds it for a very short amount of time. So... Full site control has been gained by the members of Navi. They're moving in and starting to spread out a little bit more here too to watch out for these flanks coming out from Efrag. But they're going to be pretty swift on this retake, I imagine. No plan has happened just as of yet. And Bubble looking for a way and he's able to spot Flamey up on the platform but can't actually connect anything as he falls back into the safe corner towards it. I see a lot of response days coming out from Navi now too but not really accounting for the tunnels just as of yet here. So Victor getting a nice opening spray over here onto Edward and Guardian trying to cover the lower tunnels approach. He's going to do so nicely. Shuts out NKL but is traded out there by Victor as well as he starts to push back in. Still to deal with Edward but thankfully Zeus holding off very well for now but he's going to be taken down by Dreamer as he has even more success working his way back and he's going to try to push Victor. Turns right back around and shuts out Edward and the CTs are going to hold on very nicely there on that retake. Should not have won that round at all with how quickly Navi got control of the site but again they think that that pressure is going to be coming a lot faster than it is so Navi wastes a lot of time trying to play these super aggressive positions they don't they don't really get the bomb down until fairly late into the round and then that gives Efrag the time they need to rotate in and su successfully find that uh successfully find that retake and this is one of the really key things about Efrag that we saw a good amount of stuff from in their last set versus Titan was their CT side and movement was absolutely phenomenal pulling off flanks like that even taking the longer routes and taking a big risk in taking those longer routes like when they wrap all the way around they abused Navi to some degree there because like I said before Navi was going to be expected that retake to come a lot faster. So Efrag abused that fact and go for long rotations, set up these retake angles out inside of the T courtyard to work themselves into tunnels and it just completely catches Navi off guard, shuts them down, and along with the mild amount of success just through the usual retake route too, they're able to come in there and get back control of the site very quickly and find that diffuse. But from Navi, they are able to find themselves an additional plant in that previous round. So we're still looking at a fairly confident buy coming out from these guys. Seize is the only player with a pistol. He actually bought the uh he actually bought the AK at the beginning of the round, however, uh, he's ended up having to toss that over to Edward because those two take a little bit of damage and sees the 20 HP uh, with a take coming here fairly shortly onto the B site. Probably not going to be the best player to be holding the AK if he ends up getting taken down there via a random spray out from Dreamer or in a second here from NKL as well as he's going to be coming in to support the cause. And now they're pushing back out. No smoke or anything to cover this one. Just walking in and that's two deaths. Easily going by the way of Efrag's members here. Spy Leader picking up an additional one elsewhere onto the map. Takes out Zeus which is the only player playing from an alternate angle. The final two are trying to push back in but it's just a shutdown at this point from Efrag. Guardian falling away. He's got that up. So he's going to want to try to save it. 22 seconds left on the clock. So it's going to be a bit risky but as we saw there Victor took the chase and is going to end up beating him to the punchline as he tries to retreat outside of upper T and now falling away from that one they're going to lose the op it actually and you still see bubble with his own op this time too so that power is going to remain with the CTs for now and Navi for the first time in quite a while finally have to go for a full save here as Efrag once again retakes the lead away from Navi as well Seize is the only player that really goes for a big investment in this round. He's going to pick up a scout. So we're going to try to take a little bit of a duel here versus Bubble. And Bubble does connect an opening shot, but its leg doesn't actually fully take him down. Seize completely missing his, though, so still holding a very large advantage in the sniper duel. We see a little bit of a gun trade coming out here once again from Navi, too, since Seize took all the damage he did at the beginning of the round. That scout will be much better suited in the hands of Guardian, and also with the positions being played. That was why he got it initially, so... Guardian pushing himself forward here now. Finding his way up on top of Cat. Trying to see if he can take some of these guys down. And look to see if he can find anybody here. Just slowly wrapping it around. Hasn't been checking the lower area just as of yet. And obviously with how much noise he's making jumping around and whatnot. Spy Leader is going to see this coming from a mile away if he does eventually peek out to it. Guardian's aware of this though. And he actually uses some of this to get, a, uh, get some progress. But having not actually seen anybody back over here, he's just going to push out thinking it's safe to do so. And makes a big mistake in doing so because Bubbles wrapped just around the corner. And beyond him, it's pretty much once again another shutdown at the hands of Efrag there. Edward was the only one to pick up a kill from the T side this time. And he's very fast. He's very quickly traded out by Bubble. So he holds his car angle very nicely. Unfortunately for Guardian, he's never really able to punish that. And then we do see, once again now, Efrag holding a very strong advantage so far. Not necessarily 
pushing away so heavily from Navi that they're not going to be able to come back as of yet. But it will grow to that point very quickly if their economy is going to is not going to start to get punished here over these next couple of rounds. Let's see again, 6.3, 6.2k. It's starting to get to that somewhat dangerous point for the CT store. They can buy up for potentially up to two rounds in a row here. And that's going to be a tough one for Navi to work up against because they're given a lot more freedom. But the reset, that's not going to be good. Guardian finding a great drop shot there to take down NKL. Finishing him off as he plays that close mission by the door. Spylater walks into the op. That's going to be finishing him off nice and easily. Now Navi mount the control. The defense in mid is all but gone. And Dreamer is the only player to hold the B site here. They've got a good dual hold coming out on the A site. But it's going to leave, again, a lot of pressure on either Bubble or Victor to hold up the pressure spots if they do decide to go for it. I think Navi, though, with all the kills that they've found over here, are going to realize that if mid's weak because of the two kills we found here, that has to mean that they're at most is going to be B. It's only one player on this B site. They figured out the defense. They're very smart to realize this too, but Seize messes up the jumps there and is only going to lose his life to Dreamer as he ends up getting traded out there with Guardian. The members of Navi still holding a very good advantage, however, but we can see Victor moving himself into a flank position. This has been the biggest player so far for me, Frag, not just in this match, but he was very consistent in that Titan matchup too, so he's going to be trying to hide out. Obviously, we won't really be seeing too much of a retake attempt unless he tries to sneak his way all the way through the tunnels right now because they actually aren't leaving anybody on the B site to hold that. So Victor obviously had X-Ray. He could see this, but... Uh, without really knowing exactly what's going on here, it's not really going to be too smart of a decision. They won't be going for a crazy play like that one. Just wouldn't have been the smartest thing in the world to waltz into the site. As you're going to be assuming that at least one player is there. Also, no kit. So, if he was going to do it, he would have had to do it like 10 seconds ago. And you can just see from his current position, he still expects at least someone to be in that site to hold it. So, a bit of a missed opportunity there, but... Not like we weren't expecting that. And almost an ace, too, from Guardian, we should mention. He picks up four to five of the kills that round. Had you found that final player, it would have been the ace from him. And again now, with Navi bouncing back, that thankfully puts Efrag into a much more manageable position in terms of what they're working towards here. As Navi trying to make a little bit more progress, but have been having some trouble here and there. Just trying to go for these blind entries. Efrag, as I mentioned before, their movement and positioning on the CT side has been one of their strongest suits. So due to this, they've been able to shut down Navi and sort of punish some of their overconfidence that we've been seeing. I think Navi, however, are starting to adjust for this one. The takes that they're working towards are happening a lot more methodically. And they're using their more normal methods to find their way into the site. It's not just just going blatantly in there trying to find these opening picks. They sort of, they're respecting, I guess you could say, is the correct word for it. They're sort of respecting Efrag a little bit more in the way that they're playing their positioning. So they're taking their time with it. They're playing it a lot slower, and they're making sure that when they do actually go over these takes, they have absolute confidence in doing so. And not necessarily just walking in or relying on huge entry flags to come out from their teammates. So they're going to push in. Zeus, <laughs> pretty much everybody actually doesn't have getting team flash on the way in, but they do have the support of the smoke that's placed back over here on top of the balcony. And Bubble takes a risk, finds that first shot, but is punished immediately after that one as he's shut back out. The rotation's coming in quick enough from Efrag, but keep in mind they have this flanked angle open back up here by Edward. They're going to be looking towards him, but do they? Expect them to be up on top, and to some degree they do. But we see Guardian finding another frag here too, and Edward, great positioning, picks up one, traded out by NKL, leaving it into a three versus two, but a lot of time has been wasted by Efrag out here in middle, so they're going to have a whole lot of time to work towards this retake. Flame, he's out in the open, he picks up the one, and again, is traded. This is not what Efrag need to work towards. Now it's one versus two for Dreamer. He still has no clue what's happening on the site itself. Zeus is flanked, but he should be able to hear Zeus, and he's looking out for him now, so he's going to pick up this kill at the least. Could trade out for an AK. But it looks like his preference is to stick around with the M4. He's now just going to run away from Garni, who will be able to keep himself alive. And this, of course, is the biggest key player here that needs to stay alive in terms of trying to build up an economy for Navi. So we're going to fit more of a, a couple more unnecessary deaths than technically needed to happen here. And due to this one rifle being saved, it is going to prompt another force up to come out from Efrag, as they can still get potentially three to four rifles into the picture here. It looks like three, and then two upgraded pistol armor buys. Uh, but for Navi, at the same time, losing four to five of their own players is not going to be the best thing in the world. Guardian just barely missing this shot at the beginning of the 13th round now. As Navi once again have tied things up at six points. And you're looking to try and retake this lead away from Efrag and keep it consistent this time. Dreamer as there's a little bit of a battle outside of the B tunnels, picking up the first kill. A nade comes in there from the T's though, and they do manage to evenly trade it back out. Not just this two, but Dreamer brought down a 40. He's going to be in a very fragile position and probably has to hold these off angles in hopes of pushing back the members of Navi or picking up at least one more before he ends up going down. Currently the solo defender of the B-Siders Convention. Spy Leader's in middle, ready to defend things here as well, but uh, if they do press in, and if Navi do end up committing towards the B-Site with that bomb, then if Dreamer goes down, I don't really think Spy Leader's going to be able to get himself in position in time unless he just rushes in, and they're obviously going to expect a play to come out exactly from the angle he's playing towards. 
So it'd be very, very rough indeed. But now Navi slowly sneaking their way into the site now. You can see Bubble holding Goose. He's gonna try to respond to this one. Spyler thankfully accomplishes his mission, which was picking up that first kill. But now the actual play comes back over here. Bubble only picking up one of the kills, and he's traded back out immediately there by Edward Zeus. Finding another aggressor that tries to push back in over there from Cat 2. He's going to be found out. It's still left into an even 2 versus 2 situation. And both of the players that are alive from Efrag have those two rifles that are in play now as well. This is not necessarily going to be easy pickings for Navi. In fact, Edward and Zeus both going to go down. Moving around the site. Very confident in thinking that they dropped both of the rifle players. But I don't even think they fully realized that there were still three of them in play. They killed the one. And there could have been a miscommunication that came out and said, All right, we've killed one of these rifle players. There may not be any more in the picture as of yet. So... It should be good, so Navi go out and they're hunting down these final two frags, thinking that they've saved possibly as well, but definitely probably actually not that. <laughs> as now Navi again, they're they're knocked right back out, and that's a good save that comes out from the members of E-Frag. So this again sort of rationalizes the force buying strategy that we were seeing from them in the last set. They pick up a round off of the hands of that one. And now again we're gonna see these players getting their usual upgrades. The Oppo is back into the hands of Bubble. And still full rifles for the rest of the team, whereas Navi already stabilized. Guardian still has his op to work with, but then it's three Tech Nines and an AK over here on Edward. Bubble trying to connect that first kill, and it does hit over on the seas, but it's not going to be enough to take him down because it's through the door. Edward sort of investigating any possible overaggression that would come back in towards the, the A long doors as well. As we can see, Victor takes a little bit of heat from that one, but has to fall away from this. And now pressing into it after the smoke fades out. Has the support of Spy Leader sitting behind him. Currently nobody from Navi watching this. So if they do get surprised upon here, this could be very, very bad as they're slowly creeping up. And Zeus the player in the back, he's not looking towards this. This is going to be free kills coming out from Victor, but the spray! No! Victor's so messy on that spray. Doesn't actually manage to finish anybody off, but the good thing is he gets a whole lot of damage onto these players. We're now looking at Seize, Zeus, and Flamey all sitting below 50 HP. A lot worse for Seize and Zeus, but Flamey actually finding revenge on the Victor takes him down. And now again, they don't have that flanked angle anymore, so they've got, an up they've got this one... They've got this one very held securely at this point for the side of Navi, but now they still have to find their way into the site, and Bubble's going to be resisting that. Again, though, he has the op. He would be much better suited with a rifle, and they're going to bait out his first shot. He misses the connection onto the second one. Flamey finds that kill in a bubble, and NKL, along with Dreamer, the final two alive, were stuck in middle in the B site. Nothing they can do about this. They've got to hand over the two versus five to the members of Navi, and again, look to save those rifles so they can rationalize another force by coming up in the final round. Or rather, just make the force by a lot more impactful, I should say, as obviously they're going to force regardless, but having these two rifles is definitely going to help the cause to maybe bounce it back a little bit. So Navi realized this and they're out hunting now. As again, they've met with some very good success here now that they've bounced back a little more, but Efrag just as much. And again, that round could have been a completely different landscape had we seen Victor come out on top with the spray down there. There should have been Again, if that spray had been on point, he probably could have killed at least two, maybe three of the players. All the ones with Tech Nines should have been able to get dropped, but he messes up the first one, and they're able to turn it back around, and he barely escapes that one. And then we just see Flamey coming in and whipping him with a Tech Nine, so that was not the way that Victor wanted to play that one out at all. And like I said before, if he had had success with that one, this round could have been played out in a completely different way. But now again in the final round, as we see the force coming out from Efrag, Guardian picks up the first kill again over here on NKL is going to be able to take him down. Spy Leader has the Mag-7 this time and is playing things out towards the long doors. Will maybe be able to catch Flamey and actually he's going to get a close battle but a little bit too far away unfortunately so Flamey's going to end up winning that one out once again. Left with just two left alive from the side of Efrag. One of them has been spotted. The second one Victor is playing from Goose but he peeks out and gets aggressive against it so it's just left a Dreamer. He's doing some good progress though picking up these two kills dropping Zeus and earlier took out a kill over here on his C's as well but the nades. Oh no. The nades just come boiling in barreling in. Apologies. The Nazes come barreling in towards him, and that's going to shut him down and hand over the lead here to Navi coming off of the first half. So it will be 8-7. to seven. Navi taking back their lead a little bit here after Efrag had quite a bit of success on their own CT side. Now comes the problematic area, though, for the members of Efrag. We've seen this time and time again in their last match versus Titan. Their biggest problem was economy management. We saw it a little bit on the CT side, but for t to a certain degree, again, they were a little bit more passive about the way they were playing this CT side. Uh, now on this T side, the biggest problem that they had was they just went for this very, very aggressive, almost force buying. Like at every single opportunity where it seemed valid, they would just force buy, force buy, trying to, for just trying to, for whatever reason, upset the balance in the in the CT side of the economy, and didn't really have a lot of success in it versus Titan. There was a couple rounds that they picked up, but it ultimately led to a huge lead going by the way of Navi. We'll talk more about this in a bit, though. 
as again Navi getting that fast cat strategy here works out great as they pick up a first kill and they are going to be able to hold back at least one more instead of the lower tunnels and that will be bubble the bomb sitting outside of upper tunnels too the plan should have been to regroup back over here in middle and then either go for the mid to B split or work into the tunnels but this has been completely disrupted now by Edward who's pushed himself up and Guardian supporting this play as well Spider though has spotted the head of Edward and sees that rifle peeking out from the right side, so that's gonna bring him down to one HP. Flamey picking up an additional kill, and now Guardian comes in. They're gonna think this is the same player at one HP, but he's overwhelmed. Thankfully, he picks up the kill anyway, looking for the second one on the spy later, and he's gonna find a response to this one, but then sees barrels out through middle, shuts him out. And now Navi again pick up the pistol round in the second half here. They'll keep that lead going strong. And if we see the force up here from Efrag in the second round, assuming they don't have any problems with that, then they'll be leading this one very strong at about, mm, about 11 to 7 points. And we can see Efrag trying to go for the same sort of lineup again. A little bit more, a little bit more actively watching things out by the long doors here as Edward is actually going to be trying to resist this. There's going to be a nade that goes in. Doesn't really connect all that much damage, but again, Efrag actually playing things very aggressively to try to take a default A split here at the beginning of this one. Victor works his way into B to try and make some noise, but they're already halfway up cat, so there's not really going to be anything trying to sell this in terms of a fake. Already seeing Navi rotating in, and they've actually given a lot of control to the members of Efrag of that platform, so they'll be able to get this plant. Guardian does very quickly find that trade, and then Zeus picking up an additional one here, too, so the CTs are holding a good amount of control. Uh, we do see Victor, actually, though, coming back outside of the lower tunnels. I thought Flamey expected that, but that's not the case. He's actually shut down, and now the T's have an advantage here. They're going to move in. They're trying to defuse. Dreamer takes it, but Zeus is sticking it. Is he going to be able to grab this defuse? And he gets it. He's gonna sneak the defuse there using his teammate as a human shield and it works Efrag, they don't think he's on that bomb But they make a huge mistake in doing so and the ninja defuse comes out from Navi and they're gonna pick up their 10th round So that really is gonna probably piss off the members of Efrag now because they knew that they had that in the bag But someone just made the wrong call someone thought that again It was gonna be safe for these guys, but look at Victor just pushing up nobody's watching outside the middle He's gonna be free to grab two kills Guardians able to respond to this one But this is a huge start to the members of Efrag once again as now they're gonna have a man up and they're already pushing this in a cat here Zeus is gonna be the single man responsible for trying to hold this back off as he tries to hold things But it prompts them back They don't think they have this as cleanly as they do and now they're gonna move away from this one NKL and Victor both very very low He's at 18 HP and now Edwards trying to close in on to them. He picks up a second and a third kill. Swings it back for Navi. Now it's just Bubble. Might be able to catch Guardian. He's going to miss a shot. Tracing him in through the smoke. It's going to finish him off. Zeus is about to push him in a second, but he's going to go for the reload over here onto this gun. Moving away from him. He's got to be very, very careful as he does have to deal with both of these players sitting directly in front of him right now. And he's got to recover this bomb as well. Sneaking up towards it now. Waiting to see if he can find... Zeus, but Zeus is just gonna be waiting for him around this corner. He's got no flash to work at this one either. Trying to find the correct peak, but it was Bubble that spotted Zeus first, and there we go! He's found one and a two, now he's got the bomb, and he's gonna go for the B site. Plenty of time to rotate around this one, and we can see that Edward is very, very low at 17 HP. Bubble, he's only got- he's not even- actually, he hasn't even taken any damage. He's still sitting at full 100 HP right now. So Efrag is gonna rotate in, they should be able to get this plant, and Bubble, again, assuming Soon we don't see Edward getting a hugely flanked angle or anything like that. Bubble's got a really good chance to clutch this one out, and in fact, he might just go for the kill. He's moving up to window now. Edward doesn't expect this, and there we go. Bubble with a huge 3k clutch, finishing it off, bringing it back. Starts off great for Efrag, turns back around for Navi, and then the reverse comeback once again happens there. Gives Efrag the round, and now they're striking back here. Navi not necessarily safe as of yet, and now their economy is going to be in the dirt. They've got to go for a full save round here. A couple upgraded pistols here and there, most specifically the Deagle coming onto both Guardian and Zeus, but beyond that, it's a full save for these guys. And to start things off again, we see the scout shots coming back in here from Bubble once again. Able to connect a little bit of damage over here on the Seized. As he plays just by the mid doors, they're really waiting for a mid push to happen, or at least a cat push so they can try to roll back in and counter that one out. But that's not going to be what's happening. Victor, he'll find the first opening kill, and they're just baiting these players out towards middle too. Zeus, taking a very long range duel versus a player with an AK. Not going to be the smartest move in the world here. We can see him being given another one. There's Flamey going down. They've gotten some good damage onto him, but it doesn't even matter because they're just baiting these players towards long right now. Meanwhile, look at where the real play is happening. Spyler is going into the B site. That's wide open right now. They're going to have no trouble at all getting a plan in there. Edward may get a flank against these two guys to take him down but it doesn't even matter because they're gonna have sight control in a second and there's Edward picking up the first one they didn't even know that there was a second player in pit though so now Victor he's up to four kills might be able to grab the ace too if he presses forward and tries to find seized they have to locate seized first 
as he's sitting back over here on platform. Maybe gonna be able to take out Dreamer, but nope, Dreamer steals the ace. And that's gonna be Efrag again, picking up now a ninth round for themselves. Just one more behind Navi, and a very impressive round for Victor, just picking these players off left and right, and Navi being taken for a ride that round. So it doesn't have to be a double save too from the CTs here. They're not going to take an aggressive route against the members of Efrag just as of yet. And Efrag's still trying to upgrade their own guns here a little bit as well, but sitting on a nice little pile of cash now and trying to build it up a little more. Now we're actually going to get very aggressive. This what? Bubble catching a crazy kill on a guardian there is going to take him down at the beginning of the round, just barely getting him as he crosses the threshold there. A little laggy on my screen, but he picks it up anyway. And now Victor shutting out Edward here too. Already going great here for the members of Efrag. Should have no trouble at all finishing off this round. The only ones left alive are those that were aggressive at the beginning. There's no pressure left on either of these sites, and they're just picking them off left and right now. Zeus. He's gonna be the last one left alive, but Bubble trades it back out, finishes him down. And there we have it now. Efrag again tying things up at 10 points, getting back into this game. And this is a good precedent they're setting here too. Because of the fact that, again, one of the biggest problems they had versus Titan on their T-side was establishing an economy. So we constantly saw these horse buys. This is a very aggressive T-sided team that just wants to go as forcefully as possible into these sites. Maybe taking it slow at the beginning to watch out for aggression. But beyond that, just roll right in, make progress as fast as possible. So now that they have the money to do this, this is only going to lead into their own strategy that much better. As they press their way out, there's going to be MKL finding a first one. Zeus's respawn takes a risk on popping that flash and gets it too. Doesn't even need the flash for that one. He's only going to end up flashing himself. Spy leader with no response. Had he known that flash was going onto the ground, he could have pushed out to look for a response. But now he's going to come out towards Long there. He finds Zeus, thinking that Long is going to be clear. But Guardian and sees immediately picking up two more. But we'll try to push out towards Cat. He's going to pick up the kill. But then Guardian again comes in there to finish things off. And a quick, very fast combat round there ends in the favor of Navi. They managed to hold off the A site there. You're getting that intel earlier on. And again, Efrag are going to get dropped. Now they're going into that pile of cash, trying to eat away at it. Should have enough money for at least one or two more buys. Probably going to be a lot more than that with the way that Efrag have played things in this past set. But with the way Navi here are getting themselves back into this game too. They've got that lead back and they're now going to try to grow it. Where we'll see Efrag, if, they, if anything at all, how they'll change up their strategy going into the 22nd round. And again, Efrag making a lot of noise back over here towards the middle at the beginning, but ultimately, it looks like they're going to be going over here towards B to start off this round. Not moving into it, and Spy Leader again just trying to make that noise towards Cat. The smoke comes off. This is going to be the mid-to-beast mid to be smoke. Apologies as it goes down. And oh, no! No! I'm stuck! Oh, come on. Come on. Get off. All right, I'm going to try to get off this as fast as possible, but I'm going to wait for the smoke to fade. I can't get off of it until there we go. All right, we're off it now. I can't get off it until it faded away. So it goes by the way of Efrag here as they find their way into the B site, and the rest of Navi are now looking for saves. Spy leader is going to be over here, actually doing a really good job of picking off some of these kills. And Edward here finally able to take down Spy leader before he can do any more damage to him and the rest of his team. Victor, he's going to move in and try to take down Edward too, but Edward actually handling himself quite nicely back over here on Cat. But the counter flank coming in here, Dreamer almost catching Edward, but he's managed to put himself in Goose now, and he's gonna have to push up against it if he actually wants to hunt down this final frag. They have a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, they have a crossfire for this one too, but Edward moves out from the safe spot at Goose, so he's gonna get dropped, and there's Guardian picking up at least one more of them. He'll save the op, which is the big key thing, but unfortunately for the rest of these guys, they're not gonna have anything. They're not going to have anything coming into this round. It's just gonna be, it's just gonna be the USPs and a Deagle upgrade for Edward, the rest of them. You know, gonna be wishing they had more, but for Efrag, they've now got back up to those full AKs, and after we see Nobby picking up one, they'll immediately strike right back, and now they've got a huge gun advantage heading into this B side already, just slowly walking in, Flaming's gonna try to challenge them, but it does not go so well, Spy Leader's dropped a little bit lower, and Guardian, the only player that can impact really in a big way this round, is gonna pick up a first kill here for himself by taking down Victor, he doesn't stick around though, he's actually wrapping back over, Try and put himself into a better position, and no, actually, it looks like the save call is being made this early, so not even going to go for the retake. This does make sense, again, when you consider the weapons at play for both sides of this, but it could have been a real chance there with the positions they had on some of those guys, and Guardian's actually going to sit back out over here at the top of T-Courtyard, 
And wait and see if he can catch anybody that tries to push out towards that angle. Because you can see from the silhouettes right now, everybody on E-Frag, they think that this retake, and they're doing a really good job of selling it too because Zeus is over here. They're trying to, uh, they're trying to make, ah, uh, doesn't really work. I was going to say, what they're basically trying to do is they're trying to make it look like that they're trying to look for exits back over here through CT, but because they're only on default pistols, the mind game doesn't really work out the way they want it to. And we just see them again going back out there to chase down those kills anyway. They have also, I can see from Navi too, they wanted to try and rush into the site and maybe try and find a drop gun or two, but it's it, they move in far too late. So they're not going to be able to accomplish this. They do force up on this round, though, as we can see. Guardian should still have the op for himself sitting on the ground somewhere. If a Moss for Seize, then Zeus as well, getting a Mag 7. So he'll be able to work this one with Guardian holding out of the longer range. And it'll be a very aggressive play back over here towards Long. This could work out, too, because look at the play right now from Efrag and their positioning of their players. And Kale's going to be waiting inside for this one. They won't commit to it yet, but they're keeping the bomb just outside of those long doors. So they might try to move in against it here in a second. And if that shotgun can do work, it could be a quick shutdown to turn this game around once again. Zeus, however, has actually fallen away from Long, along with the rest of the members of Navi, since they don't see any initial aggression. And he's going to be watching out for a cat play instead. Still a very good spot to place this gun. And if they don't expect him, he can catch at least one kill, maybe two as well, depending on how tightly knit together these members of Efrag are. So, he's in a lot of danger on that. Zeus has picked a great time. He actually, this smoke, I'm trying to see right now, but that smoke should actually give him a lot of good coverage there as these guys start to push in. He's going to be jumping up. They might have heard him there, but highly doubt they're going to be expecting a Mag 70 playing from the garbage pile. That flash comes out. He needs his teammate to support him, so he doesn't immediately go down. Now looking for the jump shot, catching one. Spy leader did end up taking down Guardi, but thankfully a T-Smoke is going to stop them from actually taking down Zeus. And he's still technically safe for the time being. No other pressure coming out towards Count. Bubble and Victor picking up a kill. And just like that, it's all brought down to Zeus. They're going to just push into him there, and Victor's going to finish him off as well. So not nearly the impact that we were hoping for that big gun to make out for there. As beyond that one kill he picks up, the rest of E-Frag is basically wiped through the rest of Navi. And that doesn't really let him do a whole lot of work because of that one. So that's a great push-in for me, Frag. And again, they do a good job of sort of playing their distance against that shotgun to avoid any unnecessary kills and sort of feeding him money. But Bubble again with another great shot. Shuts out Seize. Catches him through the door. And already here on another save round from Navi, they're going to be down to four players. And Efrag again now play things aggressively. Navi trying to move out against them to find some of these guys on this eco round, but not really having any luck at all. Just getting shut down left and right here. It's just down to Zeus. Tries to impact at least one kill over here on a spy leader, but can't even find that one. So that's a quick shutdown from the members of Efrag. Now up to their, now up to just two more points away here. And again, the money. We, we bring this up once again now, because Bubble's hitting at 13.7k, Dreamer at 13.1, and NKL at 12.5. And some of these players, when we take a look at them, just absolutely running away with this one. What's what's kind of interesting when we just look at the individual performances is everyone's fairly close on the scoreline. Uh, Dreamer at 22 kills, Victor at 23 kills, Bubbles at 21 kills, and Spyleader's down at 17 kills, but NKL lagging behind a little bit compared to the rest of his team down at 6. So, he's got a little bit of work to do here. And this time from Navi, we're actually going to see the, the double op investment. Double glass cannon op, I should mention, actually. So this is a very risky move because not only does it put two players without armor and just two very big risky guns, but also it limits the utility they're going to have because now they're not going to have anything being brought into this one at all in terms of smokes or flashbangs. They're relying completely on their player's ability to hit shots in order to hold this round off. And thankfully, it's going to start off well with Cease. He picks up a first kill. Dreamer and Bubble were able to trade two more back at them, though. So the push coming out to B is not even going to matter because the play is at A, and now they've got an open site to work against. The final to a lie, we're going to be seized in Zeus. They again, you can see that number eight here, Zeus has an okay angle and gets to take down Dreamer at the very least. So they can get mid control, but beyond that, they're not going to have anything. And in fact, Dreamer sits back specifically to wait, but he's not expecting Zeus to come from top mid at all. So that will catch him completely off guard. He shuts out at least one more player here for me, Frag, but this does not matter. They need to try and win things out here because they've gone for the big investment. They're going to be out of money again in the next round. But it doesn't matter to them as they're going to fall back and go for the save anyway. They'll just try to hold it off at 15 points and play for overtime instead. And Victor now hunting these players down. They take out C's. That's the only other op they had left. That now goes to the garbage. And as for Zeus, he should be in a safe proximity to keep himself alive way over here in the left corner of the map. Bottom left corner. Um, but again, the biggest thing is that they've lost the op, which was their big impact gun. So now they've only got an AK in this next round. Maybe they're going to force up, so we've got a couple more Famasas and whatnot coming into the picture here too, and a couple other rifles, but these are still going to be without utility. These are going to be relying completely on the aiming power from Nobby, and we just haven't seen as much of that as of yet. E-Frag, with how aggressive of a team they are, they're just going to rush right into the site because they know they're not going to have any utility this time, so they're going to go right for it. We've got a couple smokes, in fact, three, and a Molly sitting on Edward, so it's not necessarily the worst situation in the world here for Nobby's Sincere just as of yet. 
But the big problem is going to be once those are gone, it just gives Efrag everything they need to push in. They don't really have any smokes or anything, and Seize can't be making plays like that now. Jumps up above the smoke. That basically hands over a kill to the members of Efrag as Bubble's going to be able to pick that one up. And now Navi again. They're going to be down a player. They'll be disadvantaged. They're out of position here right now. And if a play does come over towards A, they'll be very, very low on the defense. That's been another key area that Navi, unfortunately, have not been able to defend quite a bit here. Has been that area back over towards Cat. And they're going to have to, again, leave it weak. Because they've lost their mid-defender, they have to pull some away... Um, apologies. They have to pull someone away from it and put Zeus back over here to try and hold things off in middle as well. Because their signals that they're getting right now are definitely leaning more towards a B play. And this could be correct, but Efrag themselves have not yet decided as to where they want to play this. The flash comes out in middle. That's going to force some movement over there on Zeus to put him back over a little in a little bit of a safe position inside of CT. See if I don't find anything. They don't exactly know where to play this just as of yet, but it's going towards their favorite spot once more over here towards Cat and trying to make a play towards this one. Edward has been given the time he needs to place himself up there, and he is going to spot this a little bit earlier, but now he's down below. Great pop flash. He picks up a first kill. It's been traded back out, and that still holds an advantage to the members of Efrag here as they push themselves into it. Zeus trying to get below. Picks up a great headshot there. Takes out at least one of these players, but now has to look for more, and he doesn't realize that there's going to be a long push coming out against him here. He could get shut down, trying to take him out, and as well, that bomb goes down too, so NKL is going to finish him off. And Flamey made some progress in middle, but now he's the last player alive. Got the AK, but no utility to make a retake happen. He's going to press himself up. Victor safe and Goose. And you've got one more playing out towards long. This crossfire is basically impossible for Flamey to work against. He's going to try to go for it, quite obviously. But things are just not going to be looking too good. And as he rolls out there, Victor shuts him out. And that's going to end the first map, guys, in the favor of Efrag. 16 to 11 is the score. Navi with an okay start, but here on the CT side, things just did not go very well at all as they allowed e to get that good economical start that they were looking for, and that played directly into their type of strategy here. So, second map on Overpass, not Dust, is going to be coming up here in just a few minutes. Stick around for more of the Star Letter Star Series Season 14 here once again between e and Navi.